girls how to show off that dress with a twirl, the difference between a friend and a homegirl. Well, Oakland has a new youth poet laureate, Nairobi Barnes, and she joins us this morning right here in studio. She'll be representing the city of Oakland through a program launched by the library's teen services division to promote literacy and to encourage promising young writers. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Good morning. Thank you for having me. And this just happened on Friday. <laughs> yes, it did. So I just won on Friday. So the high is still <laughs> coming over me. Ah, uh, that is so it's such a big deal. Congratulations to you and I'm sure your family is so proud of you as well. You know, words are very powerful, Nairobi. When did you realize that you had that, you know, that sense to actually put them together so beautifully? Well, I've been writing since before I could even realize the power of my words and the merit of literature. So um, having a collection of writings and poems was just always kind of natural to me since I was young. And you're going to continue to do that, I hope, because this is, I'm sure, just the start. We were talking a little bit before we started this interview, and you, I mean, hopefully someday you'll continue to do more, and you've got a whole collection already. Yes, absolutely. And I really want to focus my writing and my literature to um, what I'm going to push and what I'm going to do uh, during my 2023 year as the Poet Laureate. So. so what does that entail? Like, what do you do from this point now that you've, you've received that award? So ever since I received the award, um, now what that entails is I'm a representative of Oakland. And becoming a representative of Oakland, while it is a big task and I have big shoes to fill, um, I'm pushing for lots of literature reform in our Oakland schools. Um, that's my number one goal for this year. And another goal of mine is to personally reach out to everyone in Oakland Public Libraries so they can understand and know how much literature and poetry can impact a person's life. That's so great because I think it just takes one person to be that example, someone like you to show other young ladies and girls that you know reading and writing can just really open doors for you. And just the wonderful things you learn from that. And you're just, you're quite accomplished in addition to this. You've already received a bunch of writing awards and you've been published in Teen Vogue. Tell me about that. Yes, absolutely. So my op-ed for Teen Vogue was a criticism on black body discrimination against black women, but not only black women, against black young men and um, uh, black people who identify as black and, you know, as pro-black with their hair, expressions with their skin and with their makeup, um, because there's a lot of discrimination that we face in the United States with our hair expression mm -hmm. and with our darker skin and with our body types. So uh, my op-ed was a criticism and a push for reform. That's incredible. Now I know you're an inspiration probably for so many right now. Who inspired you? There are many people who's inspired me. Um, poetically, uh, of course, Maya Angelou, who is one of the greats. Nina Simone is a great inspiration to me as well. And musically, I'm always inspired by um, hip hop and Lauryn Hill, Erica Badu, so many poets that creativity creativity, you know, is outstanding and unmatched. Well, and you got your Lauren Hill t-shirt on today, right. which I'm is representing. Awesome. I love that. Well, Niobe Barnes, we're so happy, or Nairobi, sorry about that. We're so happy you came in today. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'm super excited to see what your future entails. Please keep us posted on what you do next. Thank you so much. I can't wait to read a book from the bookstore from you or Hopefully. check one out in the library or something for sure.